Hi again, everyone. Eddie Harold, the creator of the Flexibility for Athletes Performance Training Program. Today I'm on the physio ball, and I'm going to show you a great way blending the Western techniques of the physio ball with ancient yogic techniques of Agni Sara, or pumping of the belly. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to use the ball to enhance the energy levels that are in the belly. We're going to use the Agni Sara technique to enhance the ability of the belly to signal the mind to where the energy is in any given moment so that the mind can come down and extract it and then send it out and up through your neuromuscular skeletal system so you have a lower heart rate and your mind stays clear in moments of physical, mental, or emotional stress. So the Agni Sara technique, it's simply a pumping of the belly. It's a cleansing of the internal organs. It breaks up energy that's in the colon, mucus, phlegm, inflammation in the colon that's allowing your energy to be robbed. So if the inside of the colon wall is cleansed, it's easier for your body. In other words, it's going to use less energy to digest your food and bring your food up and assimilate it into the energy that you're going to use tomorrow. So yogis were always concerned about keeping digestive fire high. And Agni Sara is a great way to do that. So rather than do the traditional crunches, which one after another, one, we've been doing this for hundreds of years, here's an amazing way to bring up your heat quickly and you're not doing a thousand crunches. You do five or ten of these with the breath retention techniques that I'm going to show you with some alternate nostril breathing to bring the heart rate back down and you're going to be warmed up quickly. I always do my belly first. This is where all my energy is. These are the energy centers of my body. And I want to warm this up. I want to let go of the mind, the ego, you know, the part of my mind that wants to work out or the part of my mind that doesn't want to work out. It's all just blah, blah, blah. My, blah, my body can't wait to work out. It loves it as long as I'm doing it skillfully and not destroying the body, doing stupid things. So this is a great way to bring energy up quickly. Tap into your emotions. Tap into what's going on in your life. Don't run away from it when you work out. Whatever's going on in your life, these strong emotional charges, use them as fuel. Incinerate those. Don't bury your stuff deeper. Bring it up and utilize it to have an amazing workout. And then when you leave your facility, you're much more expanded. You have had personal growth. You've processed your emotions. You didn't squash them down anymore into your life force. And you're more skillful in how you're going to make choices tomorrow. So let's take a look at the ball and some Agni Sara. So get your feet wide enough so that you're comfortable. All right, and you're just going to unfold back. You feel an amazing release of the spine. I like to interlace my fingers. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to exhale all the air and I'm going to rhythmically pump my belly with the Agni Sara technique in a slow motion way so you can see what it looks like. So I'm going to take a deep breath in and I just slowly exhale the carbon dioxide and then I'm going to activate my belly. When my body calls for breath, I'm going to inhale three quarters capacity, only up to about here. I'm going to hold the breath in, and I'm going to pump again with the breath held in, pumping oxygen deeper into the nerve fibers of my body. When I need breath, I'm going to come up, close off my right nostril with my right thumb, I'm going to exhale out the left nostril. I'm going to inhale left nostril. Relax. Close off the left nostril, release the thumb, expel right. I'm going to inhale right. Close off the right, release the ring, exhale left. Take a breath right now through both nostrils and notice more what you're feeling than what you're thinking. Let's take a look at that technique again. This is one of thousands of techniques to get you warmed up quickly and raise the life force energy in your belly. You exhale, reach back. Strong support. And with the breath held out, you begin to pump your belly. You see that movement? 
very cleansing. I'm only going to inhale three quarters capacity. I don't want to fill the top sleeve of my lungs into that stressful sympathetic charge of the top sleeve of the lungs. I just want to get the breath up three quarters so the lungs have room to expand and then I pump. When I need breath, I'll come up, I hold in, and I take the pressure and I expel it through one nasal channel at a time. I, I always try to exhale left side first because that's the relaxed, cooling nostril. The right nostril is the high edge energy. And then I'll close off left, exhale right, inhale right, full inhale, close off, release, full exhale. Take a resting breath. Let's take a look at that again. Okay, so it's exhale, long spine, release between the crown and the tail, interlace, open the armpits, and squeeze the waste product out. And then rhythmically pump your belly. Get control of your belly, get control of your body. Inhale, three quarters. Pump again. When you need breath, when you get to about 90% where you're going to implode, come up, close off the right nostril, exhale left. Look at my face. Look at the energy that's coming up. Inhale left. Close off the left, release the thumb, exhale right. Inhale right. Close off the right, release the ring, exhale left. Take an integration breath. And just breathing through both nostrils, how relaxing that is, and how introverting that is, and how you can create space between your thoughts. And you're more focused on what your desired goal is today, whether you're playing golf, whether you're going to the gym, or whether you're going swimming, biking, whatever it may be, you're ready to go. You got into your belly first. Now let's talk about the science behind this. When we're talking about holding the breath in and pumping the belly, we're pushing oxygen deeper into the nerve fibers of the body. And the deeper this oxygen can penetrate your body, the more energy you're going to have. The more oxygen you have at the core of your body, the less disease there will be. And using this technique with the breath held in is much like the hyperbaric chambers that we see being used in professional sports and we see it used in hospitals with folks with respiratory conditions. So the holding of the breath in pushes the oxygen deeper into the nervous system and gives you the same effect of a hyperbaric chamber except you don't have to spend $10,000. You can do it on your own. Now as far as the exhale, the great part about the exhale and holding the breath out and pumping the belly is it helps your digestive fire in your body to remove the waste from foods you've eaten in the past. So you're going to have a cleaner flow of energy coming up from the metabolic process of digestion, elimination, absorption in through your internal organs. Number two, when you're holding the breath out like that and no more air is coming in, the stale air that's in the alveoli sacs of the lungs, these microscopic sacs, has to be incinerated. And when that stale air is incinerated, that alveoli sac is now open to receive the next inhale. So it's an amazing way to remove past workouts and kind of clear the way for the alveoli to take in fresh air for your next breath. So you're going to have more energy. So holding out is a great way to clear the tissues of the lungs and open the alveoli sac so the lung muscles can perform more effectively. Number two, the holding out is great for your digestive fire so that you can assimilate the energy of your diet as skillfully as possible and use the least amount of energy possible to digest what you're eating now. So your digestive fire can be used more in your fitness routine. And the inhale holding in, it's just an amazing way to push oxygen deeper into your nerve fibers. And when oxygen and carbon dioxide, oxygen on the inhale, carbon dioxide on the exhale, when these two molecules stay together longer in your lungs, they'll learn how to get along. 
And when they learn how to get along, it's going to be a whole new breakthrough for athletes moving into the next 50 years. So most of the time, carbon dioxide and oxygen, these molecules are arch enemies. They're always fighting with each other. And holding the breath in and forcing these molecules to dance inside the lungs and inside your body longer, they'll find a way to get along because your body's a genius. So I hope this warm-up works for you. This is Eddie Harrell. Go be great. <laughs>